my dear students welcome back to our mathematics class hope all of you are well at home and you are enjoying our online classes so today we are going to discuss about the what problems on capacity you know that we are continuing the chapter chapter 11 jugs and max so jugs and max is related to capacity and what is capacity capacity is the amount of liquid a container can hold is called the capacity so today going to discuss about the what problems on capacity so you know that various what problems we have done in previous classes so this is also same but a uh, few things you have to think before solving the answer just read the question properly then find out the keyword then just check the amounts which are given that is in same unit or different unit first you check it after checking what the question is asking suppose uh, if the question is asking you to find out the answer in milliliter then if the answer is you have find out in liter you have to convert it in milliliter so first check this also so as we are discussing about different units so you need to be very careful about let us read the first question it is our first example lakshmi bought 10 liter 300 milliliter of milk from one dairy and 18 liter 600 milliliter milk from another dairy what quantity of milk did she buy in all so first of all from one dairy she bought some amount of milk and from another dairy she bought some uh, another amount of milk from one another dairy so now you have to find out that what quantity of milk she buy in all so here what we have to do from the keyword in all we can understand that it's a addition so now we have to add these two amounts now the solution is we can write the statement like this way capacity of milk as i have no space that's why i have written like this way you can do right in your in your way so capacity of milk bought from first dairy is this capacity uh, means capacity of milk bought from the second dairy is this now total capacity so after adding these two amounts we know that how to add the capacity uh, so you can make two columns of liter and milliliter then you can add so i, I have got 28 liter 900 milliliter now let us read our second example rahul 25 liter 500 ml of petrol he filled in his car in the morning he used 15 liter 780 milliliter during the day how much petrol is left with in the car how much petrol is left in the car so here uh, some amount of petrol is filled in the car and after that he used this much of petrol uh, during the day so after using how much is left so the keyword you can easily understand the from the keyword that it, it is a subtraction what problem so now let us check how i have written the statement solution see quantity of petrol filled in the morning is this in the day in day is this so now quantity of petrol left so i have got 9 liter 720 milliliter so therefore petrol left in the car is 9 liter 720 milliliter now you can do one thing you can make two columns of liter and milliliter that will be better for you and you do the calculation there let us read our third example a milkman had 50 liter 375 milliliter of milk he sold 6 liter 225 milliliter of milk to one customer and 5 liter 50 milliliter to another customer how much milk is left with him so here if we focus on the keyword uh, the answer may be wrong because uh, it's a two step word problem so if you if you find out that left is there so we have to subtract but how you can subtract as three amounts are there so 
we have to do something extra that means here we have to subtract but before subtraction we have to add why we have to add because he sold this uh, some amount of milk to one customer and some amount of milk to another customer so we have to find out how much he sold how much um, the total amount of milk he sold to the customer so uh, first of all we need to find out that so i have find, find out that is 11 liter 275 milliliter of milk sold total capacity of the milk sold is this now milk he had was that and um, the milk sold is this so after uh, subtraction i have got the result that is 39 liter 100 milliliter of milk left with him let us read the fourth example a flask uh, can be filled up with nine mugs of coffee each mug holds 150 milliliter of coffee how much coffee uh, does the flask hold that means here we need to find out that how much uh, coffee does the flask hold when nine mugs can of coffee can may, uh, fill the flask so we have to here what we have to do we have to multiply because we, we cannot repeatedly add it so uh, to avoid repeated addition we have to multiply so capacity of each mug is this Cap number of mugs need to fill the flask is 9 so now we have to multiply after multiplication uh, after multiplication i have got 13 uh, 1350 milliliter see here one thing i need to mention that uh, if the question is asking you to convert it in liter and milliliter then you also you have to do another step that is after getting the um, total capacity capacity you can uh, find you can convert the total if the total capacity is in milliliter you have find out it in milliliter then you have to convert it in liter and milliliter if the question is asking you to convert it but if the question is not asking you then leave it no problem in it so you can uh, write it in milliliter also let us read our fifth question means fifth example how many 20 250 milliliter bottles can fill a jug of 5 liter that means here we need to find out the number of bottles not the capacity of the bottles we have to find out the number of bottles so in this situation what we have to do see first of all you think that uh, how many um, 250 milliliter bottles can fill a jug five of five liter so here we need to find out uh, first of all we need to convert it convert liter to milliliter because liter is the standard unit so we can convert it in milliliter so that means 5000 ml so the if the capacity of the jug is 5000 ml that means the jug is bigger than the bottle so we have to find out how many bottles can fill the mm, jug so how to find it we have to divide so i have shown the division in the next page but why we are doing division here first of all you need to think that here we need to find out number of bottles and two capacities are given big ju big jugs capacity is given and the bottles capacity is given so you think that um, you have to repeatedly you have to, you have to find out how many times of the capacity of the bottles is the capacity of the jug that means you have to do the division the calculation i have shown here because there is no enough space that's why i have shown the calculation here here you have to divide so how to divide first of all you have to convert the liter part into milliliter part then you have to divide see how i have done it you just check that and you have to follow it if the capacity of the tank is 15 liter 500 milliliter and the capacity of the bucket is 250 milliliter how many buckets can fill the water tank yes we should fill the water tank by using bucket so here first of all we need to check the capacity which are given in the question the capacity of the water tank is 15 liter 500 milliliter so and the bucket is 250 milliliter so first of all we have to convert it in same unit that means we should convert always in smaller unit so uh, first of all we should find out how much amount uh, how much what is the capacity of the tank so 15 liter 500 15 liter 500 milliliter equals to 15 uh, 15,500 milliliter is the capacity of the tank so now what we have to do the same 
uh, which I have done it in previous question also. Here also we have to div divide because when we divide then only we can get the number of buckets. Here I have written mistakenly bottles. Just ignore it and write in place of bottles buckets. Okay. Sorry for that. So therefore the, the number of buckets equals to 6. There is no space. I have shown the division here. You can check it and you can follow the process how I have done it. It is very simple. Just, just follow the rules. This is your homework. You can do the homework in the copy and you can give the answer in the comment section also or you can send it to your respected class teachers and you will get the work. This is worksheet number 59. Worksheet number 59 you will get it in from the school website. So you can download the worksheet also and you, then you can do it also. So thank you. Till the next